Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting video on custom rooms and today I'll be reviewing the room we have already reviewed a long time ago, the Project Elixir. So in this video, I'll be reviewing its latest 3.11 update and I'll be talking about everything like customizations, performance tweaks, battery backup and much more. So watch the video till the end and let me tell you that only 16% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So make sure to subscribe my channel if you like my content. And now let's get the video started without wasting our time. So firstly starting with the boot animation so it hasn't changed. It's still the same but still I like it and of course it's cute. Cola. Now talking about the software so it comes with the latest security patch of 5th August 2023 and obviously it's based on Android 13. And if I talk about the kernel so it comes with the stock kernel. I mean I don't know what's the point of getting the kernel sources released if the developers don't care about custom kernel development. It's been so long. Moving on to the launcher, so this room comes with launcher 3 packed with various features like when you open wallpaper and style settings, you get features like different system themes, themed icons which when applied changes the color of the app icons according to the wallpaper colors. In fact, you can also change the app grid size and of course the font styles. Now moving on to the launcher settings feature of the launcher, so when you open it, you get customizations for icons, home screen, app drawer and much more. So firstly when you open the icon settings tab, as you can see, you can change the icon size, font size and even you get an option for forced themed icons which generate themed icons for those apps that don't have one. Even you can set your own icon pack according to your choice. Now moving back, you also get some customizations regarding home screen and app drawer like music search, customizing google search bar radius and changing the app drawer opacity. Apart from this, you also get some features for recent menu like accessing screenshot, google lens and seeing the ram usage directly from the recent menu. In fact, you also get a feature called shake to clear so when you shake your phone, your phone like this, the apps get cleared. So yeah, that's for the launcher features. Talking about the pre-installed apps, so as it's a GS build, so you get Google Play Store pre-installed along with the modded Google dialer by which you can record calls of the other person without letting him know that the call is being recorded. <coughs> In fact, you also get the MIUI camera pre-installed which works fine and takes videos on 1080p 30fps. I know it's sad. But my favorite part, I hope you guessed, is the Dolby Atmos for amazing sound experience which works fine. So now talking about the features and customizations, so when you open settings, you get an option called Essence. So when you open it, as you can see, you get different apps for different types of customizations. So firstly, when you open the themes tab, you can set custom theme like right now I have set it on vivid and now if I click paint in the snow, the color pattern of the system gets changed. Moving down, you also get different fall styles for your system. So yeah, it's really amazing. Moreover, you can also customize the app icons, signal icons and even the Wi-Fi icons like right now I've set my cellular icon on the window style which looks really cool. Moving back, you also get customizations for lock screen like double tap to sleep from the status bar, edge lightning which lightens up the edge of your screen when a notification arrives in your lock screen just like this. Even you can also customize your screen lock animation from these options. Talking about the status bar customizations, so you get customizations like reticker, traffic indicator to display on the status bar, but the feature which I really liked is the battery icon customizations. So when you open this option, you get different types of battery styles, I mean a lot of battery styles, like right now I've set it on landscape, aero, and now if I choose portrait MX, the icon gets changed. Moving back, you also get customizations for QS panels, so when you open it and click on the option for QS customizations, you get a lot of customizations regarding QS panel. Like firstly, when you click on the QS styles option, you get different QS styles, so right now I've set it on shaded, which looks amazing by the way. And now if I click cyberpunk, the QS style gets changed, which looks really cool. Moving down, you can also customize your brightness slider style, but the thing which I really like the most is the QS header image. So you get a lot of, I mean a variety of QS header images, I mean you get 75 QS image presets which looks really amazing on your QS panel as you can see, so yeah it's a really cool feature and I really like it. Now talking about the miscellaneous features, so you get the advanced restart menu 
option from where you can directly reboot your device into the recovery or the bootloader so yeah it's a really amazing feature. Moving down you also get other features like less boring heads up and some call vibration features but other than this you also get the FPS proof for unlocking higher FPS in games which works fine and the game space for games with some performance features. Even the Google Pixel Unlimited Photos works fine so unlimited photo storage is unlocked. Now moving on to the security settings, when you go down, you get an option for more security settings and when you click on it, as you can see, you get features like app lock which works fine and let me tell you that face lock and fingerprint also works fine in this custom mode. So that's for the customizations and features, now let's talk about the most important thing, the performance of this custom room. Now talking about the performance, so I ran N22 and got a score of about 466k which is really amazing and even while running CPU throttle test, no CPU throttling was detected but the max chip score came of about 142k which is fine. But if I talk about the gaming performance, you will be absolutely stunned. So firstly let me tell you that I played 3 TTM matches, 1 Livic match back to back without any break on BGMI aka PUBG Mobile so the results are amazing. And by the way, I played the matches on smooth plus extreme graphics settings. So for the first TDM match, I got an average of 59 FPS consuming only 2% of the battery. For the second TDM match, I got an average of 59 FPS again consuming 2% of battery. And for the third TDM match, the results were mostly the same. So I hope you get an idea from the graph that how consistent is the gaming performance without any frame drops and no throttle. Even when I played the Livic match, I got an average of 59 FPS without any minor frame drops and throttle. Now let me tell you that 5G also works fine without any problem. As you can see in the speed test, the speed is coming great. Now if I talk about the battery backup, so I got a battery backup of about 8 hours on heavy usage and of course I used my phone on 120Hz, so the battery backup is just lit. So the shout out for this room goes to Ashish Jaiswal so thank you bro for this amazing work and by the way I don't make videos on the test bills so think twice before texting. Now talking about my conclusions so the room is just amazing. I mean this is one of the most stable and the smoothest rooms out for Poco S4 Pro with a lot of features and insane gaming performance. So if you are looking for a gaming room you should definitely check this out. It's a really amazing room for both gaming and normal usage and the flashing instructions are just like the other AOSP rooms, flash using AOSP recovery. Flashing tutorial link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like it, share it with your friends and most importantly sub to our channel. So goodbye and take care.